Good day everyone, and today we're talking about bread. No, not that kind of bread. This kind of bread. And I thought, what better place to talk about bread than here at Subway, where I do bread just about every day. The number one question I'm still getting asked is how I put bread on a hook. How do I keep it on that hook for a lengthy period of time without having to recast every five minutes? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, so there's actually a couple different ways to put bread on a hook depending on what kind of hook you're using. But first and foremost, we take the crust off. So the crust uh, will keep air pockets in the bread and it won't allow the bread to stick to the hook for very long. So we're going to take the crust off. So most of you know, I mostly use a circle hook. Well, when putting bread on a circle hook, it's a bit different than a J hook, and I'll show you. Much like the cheese in my last fishing tip, you want more of a rectangle. Hook goes in the middle. And this is with a circle hook. And then you just wrap around. So you just keep squeezing and squeezing, nice and tight. And there you are. And there. Okay, so the circle hook, the reason I cover the whole thing is that little barb that goes in, for one, that helps hold the bread on, and two, with a circle hook, the fish is more likely to catch itself. So when it bites onto that and tugs, it'll hook. So covering up the whole thing just kind of makes sense to me. Okay. So with a J hook, it's a little different. With a J hook, you want, you want the barb to be showing. So same thing, just a little rectangle. But with a J hook, we are going to put the bread on like this. And once again, you're just gonna squeeze the life out of it. And all I've done is wrap it around the shank, shank part of the hook. And there you go. So when you use a shank hook, when you get done, it'll look, it'll look just like that. And you'll still have a little barb showing. The fish takes it. You get that bite, you can set the hook. So as you can see, depending on what kind of fishing you're doing or what kind of hook you're doing, you can do the bread differently. And all, I hope this tip helps you catch more fish. And until next time, keep fishing.